Tonight at 5, after almost a years-long investigation, authorities have arrested a suspect they believe was responsible for a fire bombing at the office of a Madison pro-life advocacy group. Plus, how the installation of a new changing station in the Capitol building hopes to make downtown Madison more accessible to people with disabilities. And decades after a local World War II soldier lost his life in battle, he finally returns home to be laid to rest. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Authorities have arrested a man today who they suspect firebombed the office of a Madison pro-life advocacy group last year. The U.S. Department of Justice took 29-year-old Fridindu Rachaudhuri into custody in Boston and charged him with attempting to cause damage by means of fire or explosion. Our Arman Rahman is live outside the Wisconsin Family Action Building tonight where the crime happened with more on how police tracked the Madison man down. Arman? Officials say a cursive spray painted message here that read, if abortions aren't safe, then you aren't either, looks similar to graffiti Roy Choudhury allegedly spray painted during a riot at the Capitol, a protest at the Capitol rather, in January. In addition to that graffiti, authorities also used DNA evidence collected on scene from the window glass, a kerosene jar, and a Molotov cocktail. This month, Roy Choudhury traveled from Madison to Portland, Maine, where officials say he bought a one-way ticket from Boston to Guatemala. He was arrested at the airport in Boston today. Now, the Department of Justice says Roy Choudhury faces up to 20 years in prison if convicted. The Madison Police Department assisted in the investigation. Both Chief Sean Barnes and the president of Wisconsin Family Action declined a request for comment today. For now, live in Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. Armand, thank you. And new at 5, Madison... Driver. Fire crews had to rescue a driver who was pinned inside their vehicle following a crash on an interstate ramp. That crash involving two vehicles happened just before four on a westbound Highway 1218 ramp. Crews arrived to find one vehicle on its side. The extent of the driver's injury remains unclear. Traffic is still moving on the ramp, but speeds may be slower in that area. Turning now to weather, an alert day will bring the possibility of severe storms to southern Wisconsin on Friday. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti out on the weather patio today with the very latest. Gary? Doesn't seem like it right now. We've got sunshine, although uh, temperatures are on the cool side. In fact, if we take a look at the live view from the WISC TV sky cam, you can see mostly sunny skies here, but we do have that first one weather alert day in the forecast for Friday afternoon and Friday evening for the potential for severe thunderstorms that could produce high winds, hail, heavy rainfall, perhaps even a few tornadoes. Uh, the highest severe weather threat will be for areas south of Madison. The storm prediction day four severe weather outlook is pretty much unchanged from yesterday uh, with the severe weather threat over southern Wisconsin, a little higher severe weather threat over eastern Iowa and northwestern Illinois. Visible cloud track shows sunshine and the snow on the ground across eastern Wisconsin, but there's a band of clouds to the north and west, and as we look at Doppler track, there's some snow showers that are passing through the Twin Cities. Six-hour future track radar shows that snow showers will form along that line and then move through southern Wisconsin later on tonight. Current temperatures again warmer to the west where uh, the, there's a little less snow on the ground and colder to the north and east where there's a little more snow on the ground. Here in Madison right now we're in the middle 40s 45, uh, 46 right now in Edgerton, 46 in Sauk City and 46 in Cross Plains. Look for skies to be partly cloudy this evening or become partly cloudy this evening as temperatures drop off to around freezing. Later on I'll take a look at the timing for the snow tonight the timing for severe weather on Friday. Gary, thank you. Police have released dramatic body camera footage of officers in Nashville responding to yesterday's school shooting. Six people were killed at the Covenant School, including three children. Now we want to warn you, some of the images in this report may be disturbing. Christian Benavides reports from Nashville. Body camera footage shows police officers running past hallways lined with cubbies as they responded to Monday's deadly school shooting. Surveillance video captured images of the shooter firing through a glass door to gain access to the Covenant School, a private Christian school in Nashville. We have no evidence that individuals were specifically targeted. Police identified the attacker as 28-year-old Audrey Hale, a former student. Police say the shooter's parents told them Hale was under a doctor's care for an emotional disorder, and they were unaware Hale had legally purchased seven guns, three of which were used in the shooting. Parents felt that she uh, should not own weapons. They were under the impression that was when she sold the one weapon that she did not own anymore. 
Outside the school, a memorial to the victims, three school staff members and three nine-year-old students is growing. Many say the quick actions of emergency responders prevented an even deadlier attack. The training that was done, um, coordination with the police and fire and Office of Emergency Management, all of that yesterday we know saved lives. Members of this tight-knit community are coming to show their support. Many know someone affected by this tragedy. I can't stop thinking about the parents who woke up today and the families who woke up today with an empty bed. Carolyn Lucas came to pay her respects. Her children attend a nearby school. You just wonder when, when is the call coming for you? This is one of more than three dozen mass shootings this month alone in this country. Christian Benavides, CBS News, Nashville. And Nashville police tell CBS News the shooter may have had other targets, including possibly family members and a local mall. If your child has seen news images like this or heard about the tragedy, health experts say it is critical that you talk to them about it. It may not be easy, but you can begin by asking open-ended questions. Ask how they feel or if they have any questions about what happened. Parents can provide comfort and reassurance by just being there for their children. And it's important, experts say, not to lie. Experts recommend not telling them that this will never happen in their community, but they can validate their child's feelings. This renewed attention on gun violence raises questions on where Wisconsin is on this issue. And there was some movement at our state capitol last week before this Nashville shooting, as political reporter Will Keneally explains. Eric and Susan, up at the Capitol here, we're talking a lot about the state budget. It's a big piece of legislation, but it can also house smaller policies like gun control. And when Governor Evers introduced his budget draft, he included things like expanded background checks and red flag laws into that big bill. But Republican lawmakers reiterated today that they will start from scratch, taking out those Evers policy proposals on things like gun control. Madison State Senator Melissa Agard says those should remain. It's going to take a state. It's going to take people standing up and saying, no more. We are angry. Um, this is not acceptable. Um, and our kids and our communities deserve better. She issued a release Friday before the Nashville shooting, calling for Republicans to keep the Evers proposals in the budget. Republicans want gun control measures in separate legislation. But red flag laws, for instance, that bill was introduced the past two sessions, failing both times. No similar outside bill has been introduced yet this session. Reporting from the Capitol, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. And lawmakers will continue to debate the state budget into the summer. Today actually marked the beginning of that process with legislators on the Budget Committee hearing budget proposals from state agencies, including the Departments of Corrections and Transportation. New at 5, state representatives celebrated the installation of a universal changing station at the state capitol today. Lawmakers say the station helps make the building more accessible to people with disabilities. The station serves as an adult-sized changing table, so that people can have easier access to what they might need. Legislators say the table also creates a home base. Now that people know it exists, they should feel more free to explore downtown Madison. The Wisconsin State Capitol is the people's house. The people's house must be accessible for all people. The lack of a universal changing station in the state capitol has meant students were unable to join their class to visit, families were unable to visit, and the people's house has not been accessible to everybody. The changing station is located on the Capitol grounds on the Capitol's ground floor in the East Wing, which faces King Street. Governor Evers' 2023 through 25 budget includes creating an income and franchise tax credit for small businesses that install universal changing tables. New data from apartmentlist.com says Madison's rent is rising faster than any other of the nation's 100 largest cities. At a 14.1% year over year growth rate. Why is Madison topping the country's charts? Our Andrew Banstra hit the streets today to find out. Andrew? Yeah, and I talked to a lot of people today, and you can really split most of them into two groups. Some who told me that their rent has spiked in the last few years, and others told me they're just happy to be owners right now because they know how bad the renting market is. A rising and transient population and an already insufficient housing 
and the fact that we all want to live in Madison, I think a lot of people would like that, have all contributed to the crisis. The, the renter population is perhaps a lot higher than it would be in a, a similarly sized town that didn't have a Big Ten University in it. So that's part of it, but also just the, the great local economy that we have here and the, the strong, uh, the job market here is great, certainly just the quality of life. So I think all of those things really add up to something of a perfect storm where, where demand is high, rents sort of follow. And so we're, we're doing everything that we can to, to bring those costs down, hopefully. Some people even told me that they've been apartment hopping each of their last couple years as their leases expire to avoid hikes when they resign. On News 3 Now at 6, hear from about a half dozen Madisonians, including mayoral candidates, about the state of renting in Madison. Andrew, look forward to it. Thank you. This week, the U.S. Postal Service is hosting a job fair here in Madison. It'll be held at the West Side Post Office on Struck Street Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. They're looking to hire mail carriers, clerks, and mail handlers. Officials say there are full and part-time positions available, but you must be at least 18 years old to apply. For more information, look for this story at channel3000.com. Next at 5, Gary has the latest on the stormy alert day later in the week. Plus, after a decades-long journey, a Middleton World War II soldier has finally been laid to rest in his hometown. We'll have details after the break. And tonight at 6, how Madison community leaders are working to help residents, businesses, and organizations adopt solar energy technology. The markets fall a bit in Tuesday trading. The Dow off almost 38 points. NASDAQ falls 53. S&P 500 closes with a six-point loss. And we'll be right back. Mad City, a division of Renewity, the local service you deserve, now backed by unmatched national strength. We are Wisconsin's number one remodeler. Get a new bath, shower, or walk-in tub installed in as little as one day, back with a lifetime warranty. And with Mad City's price lock guarantee, once you receive a free design consultation, your price is locked in and guaranteed for one year. Call Mad City Baths now for our spring into savings event. Receive $1,000 off a new bath or shower. 48 months, zero interest. Senior military discounts plus a bonus. The first 50 homeowners who call now will receive a vacation voucher with bath or shower purchase. Used for a condo, hotel stay, or a cruise. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. Here's that number again, 608-729-4466. There were severe health complications with my baby when I was pregnant. We made the decision to have an abortion so our daughter wouldn't suffer. Dan Kelly doesn't believe that women should even have that freedom. On the Supreme Court, Dan Kelly will uphold the criminal ban on abortion. Someone you love might struggle with a pregnancy like I did. And that's why we can't have an extremist like Dan Kelly on the Supreme Court. There are so many things we take for granted. And along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted too. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living? And through no fault of their own, they're being left behind. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy and water providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Brothers Maine has been family owned since 1938. Some of us were born into this family and others chose to join through the years. We know you can't replace family, but you can replace appliances and Brothers Maine is here for you when one breaks down. Our in-house team has delivered ranges to washers, to refrigerators, to hectic households in a pinch, oftentimes the next day. Just because an appliance breaks down doesn't mean you have to. We're not Big Box, we're Brothers Maine. And we want you to feel like family here. New data finds Madison ranked first for rent hikes. We're hearing from quite a few people about the fear that the trend will drive people out of their homes. Then Democratic leaders express frustration as the GOP removes gun control measures from the state budget. That's tonight at 6. For over two years, a Sauk County woman paid monthly for a home warranty plan. But after several repair claims, no money reimbursed. You just get kind of put off. Tahlil Mohideen shows you what happened after this disgruntled customer made a call for action. Thursday at 6. You're watching News 3 Now at 5.
A Wisconsin soldier who died during World War II has finally come home. William Sonny Simon's funeral was this morning, and it came after his remains were identified after extensive DNA testing. Our Catherine Merck was at his funeral services and shows us how the soldier was celebrated decades later. Catherine? The memory of Sonny filled St. Bernard's Catholic Church this morning. Even though he died nearly 80 years ago, today's celebrations proved that time was no restriction to give this soldier a proper goodbye. Catholic funeral services typically remind the community that a loved one has come to their heavenly home. This World War II soldier made his trip to his Middleton home nearly 80 years later. To his brother and sister, they never lost hope. They just had a sense of perseverance. A lot of emotions, obviously uh, some sadness, but also joy, um, a sense of relief. William Sonny Simon's family was able to take him to his final destination at St. Bernard's Catholic Cemetery. He was celebrated by his loved ones and the community he left behind. It's an incredible sense of closure, um, of relief, uh, just knowing that he's here, he's back with us where he should be. Normally, a Christian burial with full military honors can be a somber event. But there's something fulfilling about saying that Sonny is back in the place where he belongs. And it's Sonny for Sonny today. And it lets Sonny know that his sacrifice was worth it. Sonny was buried next to his parents at St. Bernard's Catholic Cemetery. He's survived by one sister and a brother with generations of nieces and nephews who are at today's services. Catherine, thank you. The Senate Banking Committee summoned the nation's top financial regulators to Capitol Hill to talk about what led to the failures of two regional banks recently. Bank regulators and lawmakers on both sides of the aisle agreed on one thing today, that executives are to blame for recent bank failures. Federal Reserve Vice Chair Michael Barr says regulators notified executives of problems at Silicon Valley Bank nearly a year and a half before its collapse. This is a textbook case of, of bank mismanagement. Uh, the, the risk the bank face, interest rate risk and liquidity risk, those are bread and butter uh, banking issues. Some senators said the regulators themselves share some of the blame, but lawmakers can't agree on the solutions or how to prevent future failures, especially when it comes to government regulations. Financial regulators are conducting a full review about the collapse of SVB and Signature Bank. The FDIC and Federal Reserve are expected to issue a report May 1st. Nice day out there today, but southern Wisconsin could be hit with severe thunderstorms later this week. Here's Gary with more on an alert day. Gary? Yeah, you know, the weather seems to change almost day to day. Three things you need to know in the forecast after a sunny day today. Guess what? We've got a shot of snow coming through tonight. It'll be a quick burst, but it could bring at least enough snow to make it a little slippery on some of the area roads, although it shouldn't amount to very much. And then after a dry but cold day tomorrow, we'll see some showers develop on Thursday afternoon as temperatures start to warm up. And then we have a storm Friday. It'll be windy, milder, high temperatures around 60, and then showers and thunderstorms are likely, and there is the potential for some severe weather. Now, first things first, we have this little band of snow showers showing up on uh, Doppler track across northwestern Wisconsin down toward the uh, Twin Cities. Six hour future track radar shows this area of snow expanding a little bit out toward the west, and this will come through. Uh, it's not going to last very long, maybe an hour or two as the snow comes through late tonight, but it could be enough to bring a dusting to maybe up to an inch of snow accumulation, mainly across southern. Wisconsin and far northern Illinois. Farther to the north, it's not going to amount to very much. Farther to the south, temperatures will be warm enough for that it'll be mainly in the form of rain. But then we have that first warm weather alert day in the forecast for Friday afternoon, Friday night. That's the time period that we're watching for the potential for severe thunderstorms. We haven't changed this at all. High winds, hail, heavy rainfall, perhaps even a few tornadoes with the highest threat from Madison southward where temperatures will be a little bit warmer. The key is how far north a warm front will get. And the uh, future track computer model beginning at midnight early Friday morning shows that warm front lifting into northern Wisconsin. So all of southern Wisconsin will see mild southerly winds. That'll bring us some periods of showers and thunderstorms, maybe a little bit of a break midday. And then as the cold front approaches from the west, that's when the best chances for showers and thunderstorms and any severe weather threat. Winds out of the south near the ground, winds out of the southwest aloft have the wind shear, so the storms could rotate. But notice as the 
front sweeps through to the north and east, temperatures start turning colder, and then all of a sudden the rain mixes with and changes the snow for a short period of time Saturday morning before the storm pulls on out. So we have the severe weather threat basically from Madison southward into northern Illinois, the highest severe weather threat across northern Illinois and eastern Iowa. Rainfall amounts half inch to an inch, maybe more than that, and some of the heavier thunderstorms could lead to some localized flooding, especially with the melting snow. And then on the back end of the storm, the possibility for maybe a quick inch or two of accumulation of snow here, although the heaviest snow, perhaps up to a foot or more up in far northern Wisconsin, up near Lake Superior. Planning your night, look for snow showers to develop toward morning, low temperature 28 in Fitchburg, 29 in Belleville across Dane County, across the rest of southern Wisconsin, a little colder to the north and west, 21 in Camp Douglas, 22 in La Crosse with skies clearing out by morning. Any snow flurries end early tomorrow, then look for a high of 34 degrees as we look at uh, planning your day. Again, that little burst of snow, and this is 3 a.m., Notice as we get to 6 a.m., it's already through the Madison area and then heads to the south. Uh, any snowfall amounts will be less than an inch across southern Wisconsin. But again, it could make roads a little bit slippery. As we look at our first warm 7 to 10 day forecast, again, that warm up with the severe weather threat Friday. Then we turn colder with the rain changing to snow Friday night, windy and colder Saturday. We warm right back up again in a similar storm system. Could bring us some thunderstorms in the middle of next week. We'll have to watch out for severe weather threats there. And then temperatures closer to normal by the end of next week. As we check out our first warrant traffic. Uh, right now, this is the view of the Beltline at Stone Road. It looks a lot better than it did about 20 minutes ago because the traffic was backed up going into the Badger Interchange where the uh, accident was reported earlier. Now the Beltline looks pretty good. I-39-90-94 also has straightened out with the uh, accident cleared. So about a 14 to 15 minute trip either way on the Beltline between University Avenue and the Interstate. 24 minutes from the Beltline to Janesville on I-39-90. 16 minutes middle into Sauk City on US-12. Downtown to Sun Prairie will take you 17 minutes on East Washington Avenue and US-1. 51. That's your news for now. First warm traffic. Gary, thank you. President Biden kicking off a 20 state tour highlighting his administration's economic achievements, but Republicans are pushing back, demanding new debt limit negotiations. We'll have the details next at five. News three now. First warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. I'm going for Judge Janet Protas. Janet Protas. Protasiewicz? <laughs> you don't need to know how to say Protasiewicz to know that Judge Janet believes in abortion rights, fairness, and public safety. Protasiewicz. <laughs> Converting your old bathtub into an easy access low step in shower, our new walk in tub is fun, easy, and affordable with Mad City Baths. It's a spa. <laughs> it's my away. I go there, fill up the bathtub, turn on the jets, and I just relax. We install in as little as one day, and with Mad City's price lock guarantee, schedule a free estimate now, and we'll guarantee your price for one year. Pick up the phone and call now during our spring into savings event. Receive $1,000 off a new bath or shower, 48 months, zero interest, senior military discounts, plus the first 50 homeowners who call now will receive a vacation voucher with bath or shower purchase used for a condo, hotel stay, or a cruise. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. Here's that number again, 608-729-4466. Surgenian's landfill free guarantee has kept more than 20 million pounds of commercial and residential carpet and pad from area landfills. Visit Madison's largest showroom of flooring options, including eco friendly products, local, sustainable Surgenian's. It's easier to manage my chemo side effects since a great supportive care came to see me. They're taking the time to listen and talk about options for feeling better. A grace caring every step of the way. Remember this and this and the false selector scheme. In Wisconsin, extremist Dan Kelly was the right wing lawyer behind the scenes of it all. The bipartisan January 6th commission revealed Kelly advised Trump operatives as special counsel to overturn the will of the people and overthrow the election results. Kelly even went on tour promoting the big lie. On April 4th, vote like democracy depends on it, because it does. 
To everyone who believes in tradition, come enjoy a few of ours from Wisconsin. People in Wisconsin love a good fish fry. Really love. And we love sharing it with guests everywhere. At Culver's, we still batter our North Atlantic cod by hand to order. And we cook it to a crispy, golden perfection just for you. For you. For you. So it's crispy outside, flaky inside. Let us take care of you. With some homegrown traditions we were raised on. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Trust Menards to have everything for updating your home's outdoor lighting, all 11% off. We carry the widest selection of outdoor lighting options in stock, ready to take home today. Add security and get peace of mind with the benefit of motion sensing outdoor security lights. Save on everything to brighten your home. Right now, all outdoor lights are 11% off. Pick up this motion sensing outdoor wall light for only $29.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Extremist Dan Kelly wants abortion banned, even in cases of rape and the health of the mother. Kelly will uphold Wisconsin's 1849 abortion ban that strips women of their freedom to make personal decisions on abortion. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Welcome back. President Biden kicked off a 20-state tour highlighting the nation's economic progress today, first stopping in North Carolina. But Republicans say when it comes to the economy, the president has been missing in action. Nicole D'Antonio has more. Hey, everybody. How are you? President Biden kicked off his administration's Investing in America tour at Wolf Speed, a semiconductor manufacturing plant in Durham, North Carolina. The company recently announced a $5 billion expansion that could create 1,800 jobs. This is the largest investment in manufacturing in the history of North Carolina. Over the next three weeks, senior Biden administration officials will visit 20 states to spotlight other U.S. manufacturing companies that are thriving. American products are being made here. We're growing the economy. And today I announced that since I took office, we've attracted, get this, we've attracted $435 billion, billion dollars in private investment in American manufacturing. The president's tour comes as Republicans who now control the House are demanding he resume negotiations about possible cuts to government spending before they agree to raise the debt limit. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy sent a letter to the White House Tuesday requesting a meeting with the president to specifically discuss reducing non-defense government spending, reclaiming unspent COVID funds, and strengthening work requirements for certain benefit programs. Everybody's looking for workers, and yet the federal government is paying millions of people about thirty to $40,000 a year to sit at home. Makes absolutely no sense. In response to McCarthy's letter, the White House press secretary said the president welcomes a conversation about the nation's fiscal future, but lifting the debt ceiling is non-negotiable. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, the White House. And Gary will have a final check of your first warn forecast when we return. Mad City Baths proudly offers American-made baths, showers, and walk-in tubs. Installed in as little as one day, backed by our worry-free guarantee. Premium patterns including Arctic Ice, Gray Line, Sierra Sand, and more. Infused with microband for easy cleaning. And with our price lock guarantee, we'll guarantee your price for one year. So call now. It's our spring and the savings event. Receive $1,000 off a new bath or shower, 48 months, zero interest, senior military discounts. Last chance to call during this program. The first 50 homeowners will receive a vacation voucher with bath or shower purchase. Use for a condo, hotel stay, or a cruise. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. Here's that number again, 608-729-4466. Soon, you'll be headed to the polls to decide the future of our state. And here's my promise to you. I'll look at every case in a fair, impartial manner. And I'll follow the law and our Constitution. As a prosecutor and a judge, I've worked to make our community safer. I've fought to guard our rights and our freedom. That's exactly what I'll do on the Supreme Court. I'm Judge Janet Protasewicz, and I'm asking for your vote by April 4th. Come to Slumberland and get 20% off our beautiful new furniture and decor during our Spring Spruce Up event. We've got fresh new looks, 
like sleek new upholstery for your living area, plus extra discounts on recliners, patio, Sealy mattresses, and sectionals, including our new super versatile modular sectional. Get an extra 20% off Slumberland low prices during our Spring Spruce Up event right now at Slumberland Furniture. And check out our easy new mattress rating system to get you in your perfect bed. Create your perfect room for entertaining, relaxing, and more with patio enclosures. Right now, get 25% off your sunroom. Plus, enjoy exceptional financing. Call today. Patio enclosures. Hit the ground running in the most adventurous Honda vehicles yet. Like the Pilot and Passport Trail Sport. Or the Ridgeline, made more rugged with better off-road performance and more capable with different driving modes available to conquer snow, mud, and sand. Adventure on in the Honda for you. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Superior, Wisconsin. It's a fisherman's paradise. Outfit yourself with gear and the latest fishing conditions from Jim over here. It's John. He brutally raped her, repeatedly. I spent endless nights plagued by nightmares. My bedroom door was barricaded, I was so afraid. But Judge Protozewitz ignored her pleas, let the rapist off easy, and now he's back on the streets. When you don't know where your attacker is, then he is everywhere. He is every sound in the night. Tell Judge Protozewitz, stop failing victims and stop protecting criminals. Gary's back, final check of the forecast. Yeah, nice out there right now. The live view from the Platteville Quibi Radio Skycam, lots of sunshine. Uh, temperatures, middle 40s for the most part, uh, a little warmer to the west, 45 right now in Madison, 46 in Verona, 46 in Wanakee. But we have some snow on the way for tonight. Should be minor, less than an inch. It'll be late tonight into early tomorrow morning, but roads could become a little slippery. We'll be back in 30 minutes for News 3 Now at 6. Stay tuned now for the CBS Evening News.